HBCUs are guardians of the culture. The stomping ground for the African-American intellectual. A place where you go to cut your teeth. They serve as bridges between our storied past and our present progress. Founded out of necessity, sustained through service and sacrifice. Historically, black colleges and universities have always been the heartbeat of this country's fight for justice. Whether it was sit-ins in Greensboro, bus boycotts in Tallahassee, or protests in Orangeburg, HBCUs are and always have been the soul of the nation. Historically, black colleges and universities built America's black middle class, and Joe Biden knows that's the backbone of our country. He has the boldest presidential plan for HBCUs in our history. Investing $70 billion in HBCUs and minority-serving institutions, lowering costs for students, and building world-class facilities worthy of our world-class talent. Joe Biden is not only investing in us, but investing in a better America. When HBCUs rise, we all rise. We are HBCU students for Biden. HBCU Homecoming. Why are we here tonight? To celebrate and take action. Text HOMECOMING to 30330 and visit IWillVote.com to make up your plan to vote. Uh-huh. You got to make a plan. Because let me tell you something. Voting right now is important. Your life depends on it. Your children's lives depend on it. Your children's children and their children. It all depends on on your vote. So make sure you cast it. Be heard. Say what it is you want by uh, marking that box. All right, now, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like making some moves. I feel like grooving. It's homecoming, all right? So please, make a whole lot of noise for the one and only YBN Corday. Give it up for YBN Corday. Ay! Every word that we say holds value and, um, Every sentence is sacred. And that's why I made this song called Thousand Words. Yeah. Uh, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. You paint the canvas better, let it shine. Uh, I know I done some things that wrong. Uh, the flash is on this little light of mine, yeah They say a picture's worth a thousand words uh, You paint the canvas, better let it shine I know I done some things that wrong uh, The flash is on this little light of mine uh, 
A picture's worth a thousand words, a video worth a million. But no amount of likes can heal up all this pain that I'm feeling. Maybe conceal it and hide in all these problems we deal with. I grew up on the principle to raise a child, need a village. I think we all wanna be a little Instagram famous. Deep down inside, nobody really wanna be nameless. Afraid of being forgotten, so this troll should we plot it. Sitting on this phone for hours, felt my brain getting rotten. But I could less dog, it's popping. All these bitches that's flocking, shit got options. But what's really important is such a silly distortion. We all stuck in this matrix, trying to hide our misfortune. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. You paint the canvas, better let it shine. I know I done some things that wrong. The flash is on this little light of mine. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, you paint the canvas, better let it shine. Uh, I know I done some things that wrong. Uh, the flash is on this little light of mine. Switch it. Living in this false reality, the center's picture gallery. Based on its profile, we get some salary. The lifestyle you advertise is quite strategized. Make a minimal amount and then we maximize. Capping with lies, how they capitalize Creating their own perception with a massive facade Digital marketing schemes, even broader regime Live how you want on the internet, who thought of this thing? I mean, I guess it ain't the worth it If life was picture perfect, who could paint a picture vivid as media circus? The surface is much deeper than even the earth is I searched it, looking for purpose, like my first kiss At the same time, that it will have you feeling worthless Back into reality, woke up and just reversed it no, I'm a new man, even got a new grand. But let me take a picture with this money by my. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. You paint the canvas, better let it shine. Uh, I know I done some things that's that wrong. Uh, the flash is on this little light of mine. Yeah, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. You paint the canvas, better let it shine. Uh, I know I done some things that's that wrong. Uh, the flash is on this little light of. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. You paint the canvas, better let it shine. I know I done something that's that wrong. The flash is on this little light of mine. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Paint the canvas, better let it shine. I done something that's that wrong. The flash is on this little light of mine. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to change up the tempo a little bit on this one. Clue, take it away. Mac and cheese up in the oven, grandma finished cooking. Thanksgiving round the corner, need banana pudding. Brought you home to mama, even though you say I shouldn't. Might not make good, but I'm hoping and I'm pushing for a better day. A good day in the making, but you never stay. I could say that you're faking on the real. Ask them why they faking on the real. Don't know. Yeah, okay, I brought you home to mama, introduced you to my cousins, man, my aunties and my uncles know they crazy, they be bugging, but promise that I got you, didn't bring you here for nothing, no, we fighting, plus the arguments just lead into the, uh, know some things never rearrange, I know we need a change, all together through a deeper lane, come through, release the pain, I can't be your ibuprofen, keep it real, what I be hoping, no, you see, our love is destined, yeah, shit was highly chosen by the universe, the stars align, love is far divine, plus I'm really glad you keep Keep it G, it's hard to find. Not to mention my intentions was always evolving time. Girl, I hope I'm in your future, cause I know you fall in my cup of mac and cheese up in the oven, grandma finished cooking. Thanksgiving round the corner, need banana pudding. Brought you home to mama, even though you say I should. Might not make good, but I'm hoping and I'm pushing for a better Good day in the making, but you never stay. I could say that you're faking on the real. Ask me. Are they faking on the ground? I've always been an overthinker. I've always been the type to analyze, to no surprise that you hold the team up. The way the ship was built, there's no way that the lows could sink us. Humble Tardy, monotype, she walk in Vogue demeanor. But anyway, through many days, we on the block where Jenny stays. Honey baked ham with Henny glaze. Abraham inheritance, Shawty, we plenty paid. Bonnie Clyde, high speed chaser, renegade. I say, mac and cheese up in the oven, grandma finished cooking. 
Thanksgiving round the corner, need banana pudding. Brought you home tomorrow, even though you said I shouldn't. Not to make the Christmas, but I'm hoping and I'm pushing for a better day. In the making, but you never stay. Yeah, nah, nah. On the rail, on the rail. Trees up in the oven, grandma finished Thanksgiving round the corner, need banana uh, Brought you on the mama, even though you said I, I, I uh, But I'm hoping and I'm pushing for a better day In the making, but you never stay See why you faking on the real, on the real, on the real, on the real, on the real We are HBCU students for Biden. We are HBCU students for Biden. We are HBCU students for Biden. HBCU students for Biden officially launched on January 15, 2020 to bring together a diverse set of students who attend historically black colleges and universities that support Joe Biden for president of the United States of America and his plan for HBCUs. This program was led by four co-chairs, William Fairfax, Robin Seniors, Rachel Shiniga, and myself, Nia Page. From the very beginning of his campaign, Joe Biden pledged to invest over $70 billion into HBCUs, the most robust plan proposed by any major party candidate ever. Not only did Joe Biden pledge to support HBCU community if elected, but the entire Black community through trans transformative education, healthcare, and criminal justice policy. Now that Joe is officially nominated as the Democratic candidate for President of the United States and chosen his running mate, HBCU grad Kamala Harris, the implementation of those policies are close within our reach. We just need you. We are less than two weeks out from the most important election of our lives, and it is time to mobilize. Join the HBCU community at joe.link slash HBCU. From FAMU to Howard to Spelman to Claflin and to Texas Southern, it's time to make HBCU students' voices heard. We will reject cynicism and hate and choose light, moving America forward to that fairer, brighter America we all seek. We need your help to turn out voters. Go to joebiden.com slash events to get involved. Turn in your mail-in ballot right away. This November, we will make progress towards real and lasting change. Good evening. My name is Larry Bowden. I'm the deputy organizer director for our campaign here in North Florida. Um, it's home for me. I'm originally from Lake City, Florida. And I'm a proud graduate of Florida a and University. And I'm supporting Joe and Kamala because they believe in the power of our HBCUs. If you ever hear the vice president talk about Delaware, he always mentions Delaware State. And Senator Harris is a graduate of Howard, one of the pristine HBCUs in this country. Uh, I cast my vote for Joe and Kamala two weeks ago by filling out my mail ballot and taking it into the county's drop-off location. I was proud to be one of the first people to move this country forward. Uh, you can help also move this country forward by going to IWillVote.com to find out exactly how, when, and where you can cast your ballot. Early voting has already started in many states, so find your closest voting location or mail your ballot back today. If you're voting by mail, do not wait. Turn your ballot in right away. Uh, there's a lot of easy and convenient ways to vote, but again, do not wait. And once you vote, go ask five friends to make a play to vote too. Your community and your country is counting on you. Thank you. Now I want to tell y'all about somebody who was intricate in Black history. Ruby Nell Bridges is an American civil rights activist. Now, she was the first African-American child to desegregate the all-white William France Elementary School in Louisiana during the New Orleans school desegregation crisis, November 14th, 1960. Now, she didn't just walk through a door, but she walked through and created opportunities for all of us. So please make a whole lot of noise for Ruby Bridges. Hi, everyone. I'm Ruby Bridges. It's an honor to be speaking with you tonight. This may not be your typical HBCU homecoming, but nothing can dampen the spirit and energy we all feel right now. Our country has an opportunity for change, and your generation has shown us that you're up for the job. I thought it would be a good idea for me to share my thoughts with you. 
since being an agent for change isn't new to me. I remember being the same age as many of you are right now. I remember feeling like I was growing up in a country where the color of my skin meant I wasn't treated the same. Feeling like the odds were stacked against me. At any moment, discrimination could turn into violence. And where sometimes the perpetrators of that violence were some of the very people responsible for enforcing the laws that were put in place to protect me and my family. We have made much progress in our country since I was a little girl walking up those steps alone to desegregate an all white school, William France Elementary. I would have never imagined at six years old, as I walked through angry mobs of people screaming and throwing things, that our first black president would hang a painting of that moment outside the Oval Office. But with everything that the world has witnessed during these past few months alone, we know that there is still a long way to go and so much more work to be done. However, I am confident that we can do it together. We are much stronger when we come together. Remember, united we stand and divided we fall. Like so many in the civil rights movement of the 60s, your generation refuses to give up. You are rising up. And that gives me hope. You are marching and you are taking to the streets, peacefully, I might add, speaking up and speaking out, putting yourselves on the front line. You are standing united against injustice. And we are proud of you for that. You are carrying on the work of Dr. King, Rosa Parks, and Congressman John Lewis and countless others, both black and white. And of course, a little black girl walking to school 60 years ago. This movement is bigger than one election, but this election offers us another way for us to stand together. With less than one month to go, we need to vote in record numbers demanding your voices, our voices be heard. So our March for Justice must continue. Our next milestone is November 3rd. Joe Biden helped us make history by standing with America's first black president. And he will help us to make history again when Kamala Harris becomes the first African-American female Vice President of the United States. These tumultuous times call for such a team as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Let's send a message across the world to show just how united these United States are. Once they are in the White House, Joe and Kamala will be uniquely positioned to carry out the most ambitious plan for racial justice this country has ever seen. But they need our help to make it happen. They need your help. You, the young people, peacemakers of America, you make up a vast percentage of voters. You have tremendous power if you just show up to vote. Make a plan to vote. Make sure everyone you know has a plan to vote. Remember, this is your time. We, the older folks, have seen what you are capable of. We, I, am amazed by your energy and your courage. I've often said, if we are going to get past our racial differences, it's going to come from you. Please channel that same energy and courage into this election, you will be a force in making Joe Biden and Kamala Harris the next president and vice president of the United States. I know the future can be scary. I know what it's like to take that first frightening step. 
towards the unknown. But you've already taken it by taking to the streets. And what I know to be true is that after that first step, you just need to take another one and another one and another one after that. Before you know it, you've changed your country. You've changed the world. You have the power to change history, to take your own steps into the history books, just like I did. Believe me, change is possible. And because of you and your inspiration, I've never been more certain that change is upon us right now. Just show up, cast your vote, and let's make it happen. Thanks, everybody, and happy homecoming. Thank you, Ruby Bridges, for all that you've done. Your story means the world to me. You have changed the world. And hopefully more changes are coming because this country needs some racial equality. And I'm tired of saying the word racial, but we need it. This next guest is doing important work. Check it out. Run to me, I met you halfway all lives, and now I'm done. Ooh, I'm just no good at letting people go. Ooh, I'm just no good at letting people go. Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, for the people who don't know me, my name is Carnage. Um, I'm a producer, DJ artist, whatever you want to call me. I'm just a, just a normal human being to a lot of people. Um, you just watched my music video for Letting People Go. The story behind it was all based on my grandmother's journey to America with my mom and her four siblings. They fled the Nicaraguan Revolution for hope of safety and prosperity here in America in the 1970s. Um, como, como era, como, to, como te fue cuando te fuiste de Nicaragua? No, muy mal, no. muy mal, tuvimos muy mal, tuvimos una depresión de no tener dinero, después de tener dinero, no tener dinero venir a trabajar fuertemente para poder sobrevivir. Y eso fue muy duro, pero gracias a Dios estamos, vencimos ese, ese, esa, esa etapa. ¿Y cuando te fuiste de Nicaragua? ¿Dónde fuiste? ¿De Nicaragua? De Nicaragua, mi esposo manejó un avión de Nicaragua a Honduras, a Comayabuela. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De Comayabuela nos recibió la, 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 la Cruz Roja y nosotros no queríamos quedarnos en, en, en Honduras, uh -huh. queríamos seguir para adelante porque estábamos muy cerca de Nicaragua y podíamos peligrar que sí. nos hicieran algo. Y se fue de Nicaragua Entonces, a Honduras. A Honduras, a... De Honduras a, a Guatemala. Okay. En Guatemala tuvimos año y medio y decidió ir, venirnos para los Estados Unidos mm, eh, eh, no legal, sí. emigrante. ¿Y cuando cruzaron? Cuando cruzamos, eh, el, el coyote que nos traía nos dejó, nos dejó en México y no, result, no, no, no lo vimos más. Sí. Entonces nos venimos en la Greyhound creyendo que nosotros podíamos pasar y no nos iban a detener pero en, en, a la a United States ah. pero resulta que en McAllen, Texas eh, pararon el bus de la Greyhound uh -huh. y subió en migración y nos pidieron papeles para entrar a los Estados Unidos por supuesto no traíamos nada de eso uh -huh. nosotros entonces nos dejaron presos ahí tuvimos y, presos y... Los separaron, they separated you Nos guys. separaron, los niños me los pusieron, mis tres hijas me los pusieron en un lado, a mí en uno y a mi esposo en otro. Wow. Resulta que eh, a las seis horas eh, 
nos llegaron, me llegaron y me dijeron que, que estábamos libres, que, que, que estaban mis hijos afuera y mi esposo. Wow. Entonces salí yo y pues ya los vi a ellos. Y entonces pues ya ahí nos dieron un... Que le llaman ellos parol. Uh -huh. Nos dieron un parol para ya entrar a los Estados Unidos. And this is why this year we all need to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Both Vice President Biden and Senator Harris have a long history of recognizing that the United States is a country of immigrants and it belongs to everyone and not just the elite. Every time there's an election, there's so much on the line, but that's especially true this year. We are choosing between someone who values human life and someone who doesn't. Humanity's on the line and democracy's on the line. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kiana, and I'm a regional organizing director here in the great state of Georgia. I graduated from the illustrious Howard University in 2016 with my degree in political science. And in August of 2019, I joined the campaign to elect Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. I believe that my education at Howard University and my experience working in nonprofits perfectly aligned me to be working on the Joe Biden campaign and to be fighting for communities of color, um, children of military families, and um, health care rights and women's rights like I've been doing for the last year and a half. And this job is made even sweeter knowing that I'm working to elect Kamala Harris as the next vice president of the United States and the first black female vice president. Um, Uh, Kamala Harris is also a Howard University graduate, and it feels great to know that not only did we go to the same school, we studied in the same department, um, read the same books, and had the same professors, and I know that I'm working for the right people to lead this country. As a Howard University bison, I firmly believe in our school motto, which is Veritas a Utilitas which translates to in truth and service. And so I am spending my time in service to our country and to our community, trying to elect Joe Biden and Kamala as the next president. And I hope that you will join me in that fight, in that service. Text homecoming to 30330 and join an HBCU Get Out the Vote event today. Senator Harris is the first Black woman to be the vice presidential nominee for a major party. This is huge to Black women, young and old, to see themselves in such an important role. Senator Harris is a Howard alumni and a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Incorporated. Yes, she's an AKA. Please make a whole lot of noise for Senator Kamala Harris. Greetings, my fellow HBCU alums, students, and community, and a happy homecoming. I am so thrilled to have a chance to talk with you and be a part of this HBCU homecoming rally. You know, when I was a student at Howard, every signal we received as undergraduates told us we could be anything we set our minds and hearts to. There was an implicit assumption of our talent, and there was also an implicit assumption that we would use our talents for good. That's the essence of the HBCU experience. HBCUs, where black students from around the country and around the world get an extraordinary education and continue into roles of leadership in every field. HBCUs are rooted in a uniquely American form of optimism. We can come as we were and leave as we aspire to be, unburdened by what has been and knowing what can be. And that's what we need to do right now. We need to move forward together. This election is just days away, and it may well be the most important vote we cast in our lifetimes. So much is at stake, our lives, our livelihoods, the kind of country we live in. So I need you to do what we always do, and that is lead the way. HBCUs have played such an important role in advancing our country's long march to equality and justice. And this is your chance, this is our chance to do it again. And that means organizing and mobilizing and voting in numbers like no one has ever seen before. So please make a plan to vote, vote early, and urge everyone you know to do the same. Please text POLLS, P-O-L-L-S, to 30330 to find out where you can vote or return a vote by mail ballot. 
and sign up to volunteer at joebiden.com slash events. Because I don't want any of us waking up after the election wishing there was any more we could have done. We're going to do it now. We're going to step up. We're going to make all of our ancestors proud and deliver a better future for ourselves, our families, our children, and our grandchildren to come. Thank you, everybody, and let's get to work. Yes! Thank you, Senator Harris, for your powerful message. And those shoes that you got on, girl, fierce. I remember my first time voting. It was the late 1900s. Nope, it was the early 2000s. And I waited in line. I met some pretty cool people. And once I finished casting my vote, I felt like I was heard. I felt like I had a voice. Now, granted, who I voted for didn't win, but my local won. And that's where it's in most important. That's where it counts. See, your vote is your voice. It's not time to sit back and protest, but to make our voices heard at the ballot box. This election, let me tell you something. This election marks Shaquille O'Neal's first time voting. Now, this is my friend. And when I heard that, I was like, for real, Shaq? For real? So let's hear it from him, himself. Please make a whole lot of noise for my friend, Shaquille O'Neal. Hello, everyone. My name is Nice, Barry. I'm a sophomore at the House College. I serve honorably as co-chair with Biden Harris, and I'm honored and so pleased today to host this conversation with the one and the only Shaquille O'Neal. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Bryce. How are you, young man? You doing all right? Fired up. Let's get right yeah, in. Going, yes, sir. First question I have for you is: As this is your first time voting, and we obviously know who you supported. Thank you for voting for. Uh, Vice President Biden and Senator Harris. Uh, well, the first advice I'd say, you know, we, we know that we know that we want to enact change in society, and we have the uh, and ability to do it. You know, we can't rely on anybody else. We have to do our part. Uh, Listen, before you build a skyscraper, you gotta start with the foundation and the first floor, and then you gotta continue to build up. So, you know, we're, we're at the point where we're tired of, of do this, do this, do this. If we're doing all that, they don't listen to us. We have to make sure they get it done. So I'm, I'm proud of the youngsters. I'm proud of what everybody was doing. And then I said to myself, when I'm when I'm representing myself and representing the people, I can never be a hypocrite. I'm, I'm, I'm telling young kids to vote. I'm telling them how to enact change. And I never voted before, so I was like, I got to make sure that I vote this stuff. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I love how you said we have to enact change. That's a great segue to my next question. Well, in this current political climate, uh, what do you feel is at stake? We, we know so much is at stake, but what do you feel is at stake for the future of our nation in this election? I mean, uh, a lot is at stake. You know, you know, we need somebody that understands our voices, understands our values, understands what we've been going through. It saddens me to wake up and look at 40 million people unemployed. And I know it's because of the pandemic, and uh, uh, I, I would love to say if the pandemic wasn't here, that wouldn't be the case. That, that would be a, a great. But one person loses a job. One person loses their business. One person loses a family member. That's not a good thing. So you know, I just hope whoever's in charge the next understands what we need, understands you know, things that we go through, and, you know, support us, you know. Look, I'm 48 years old. They always been saying they're going to do something. I ain't seen it done yet. That's why when I need to get something done, I just do what I need to get done. Exactly, exactly. Uh, one more question I have for you, uh, and this is my question. As a personal fan of yours, how has your athletic career changed your perspective on political activism and on voting? I don't, I don't do politics. I don't do... I don't do certain things. I do the right thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not into politics. Uh, I realize that I have a voice. I try to use my voice as, as, as wisely as possible. But, you know, a lot of stuff I do, I like to do it unseen. For example, uh, I don't, like, you, you know, like if I, I, like, for example, like if I run by school and a couple kids are carrying the books in their hand, I'm not going to go to the government. I'm going to go to the principal and be like, listen, I'm coming tomorrow. 
I got a thousand free book bags, and I'm gonna set up in front, and you're gonna allow. It. Yes, sir. I'm gonna take care of. It. I don't need you. Like, so I don't. Like, I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not loud. I'm silent. So you know, for example, I've helped get five sheriffs. Help get five sheriffs elected in places that I'm at. I'm in Henry County, Georgia. I'm in uh, Miami. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I'm in St. Martin Parish in Louisiana. These are places that I'm at. So, you know, my people are saying, I need this, I need that. I know a guy that can get you police reform. I know a guy that can train his guys a different way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I help get the DA of Atlanta elected, a, a young, bright uh, uh, intelligence system. So that's how I want to enact change. I just want to, I don't, I'm not loud. So I don't, I don't do politics. I don't do, I don't do any of that. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I understand that you have some questions for me. I'm proud of you, brother. Continue to do the right thing. Make sure you follow your dreams. Uh, so you're going to have a lot of hate in your way. You should challenge that. You can welcome that. This mm -hmm. hate is only going to, you know, propel you to the next level. Because if you can control what they put you through, whoever they may be, you can control anything, my brother. No, thank you. Thank you for those All words. right. All right. Good. And, uh, I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you so much to you, Mr. O'Neill, for doing this, for joining us for this HBC homecoming rally. Uh, we are so honored to have you. To all, everyone, make sure you go to IWillVote.com. Make a plan to vote right now. Vote as early as possible and vote as fast as possible. Because when you vote, things change. So thank you, thank you again. Let's do this. All right. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you. the organizing director in North Carolina. I am an alumna of the illustrious Alabama State University, and I'm excited to cast my vote for Joe and Kamala because I graduated college four years ago, $50,000 in debt. And I don't come from a super financially stable family at all. In fact, when I was in the 10th grade, my mom was diagnosed with lupus, and literally all of the money that we had went away. I watched my mom growing up have to make several difficult decisions, two of which was making ends meet for our families over her health care. But the second was choosing which twin she was going to send to college. And ultimately, she chose me. And so I am here. And so that is why I am casting my vote for Joe and Kamala, because they're not only fighting for my family, but they're fighting for so many families who've also had to make the same difficult decision as my mom. And so I am here to talk to you all about organizing your community and using our Vote Joe app. The next 10 days, we need you to talk to your people. Does your sister know how to fill out her ballot? Does your old roommate know where their early vote location is? Did your friends already send their ballots in and they're wondering what else they can do to help? Well, I'm glad you asked. Have them text Vote Joe to 30330 to get started on our organizing app right now. There's no one better than you to get out your community's vote for Joe, Kamala, and Democrats up and down the ticket. So reach out to your people and everyone you know and make sure they aren't sitting this one out. There is so much on the line this election, and we want to make sure we're not leaving anyone behind. And so I ask, take out your phones and text Vote Joe to 30330. Again, that is Vote Joe to 30330 right now. Thank you. Have a great day. We have to hold our elected officials accountable. We hire them by voting to represent us. It's time to hear from some of our favorite elected officials. I'll throw the show over to them to show us their HBCU pride and hear how they plan to vote in this election. Hank Johnson here, Georgia's fourth congressional district, proud graduate of Clark College, 1976. Here to tell you it's important that you get out and vote. Do it soon. Don't wait till the last day. Hi, I'm Alma Adams. I'm a two-time Aggie. I am chair of the HBCU caucus, and Aggies vote, Aggies turn out, and let's turn this mother out. I'm Congress 
Congresswoman Joyce Beatty from the great state of Ohio, graduate of HBCU Central State University, member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. I'm voting early for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Join me, vote early. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Robin Kelly from the 2nd Congressional District of Illinois. I attended Bradley University in Peoria, and I'm a proud member of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority. I plan to vote in person this week. I'm Congressman Gregory Meeks from the 5th Congressional District of New York, and I'm with Joe. I'm voting early for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. What's going on, everybody? Mike Blake, Vice Chair, DNC. You already know what time it is. I got a rep to fly out Attorney Incorporated, Northwestern University Assemblyman out of the Bronx, but I got to throw on the mask. It's all about Biden Harris. We represent our HBCU, our divine nine for all our black attorney sororities. Let's go make this happen, everybody. I'm Congresswoman Terry Sewell of Alabama's 7th Congressional District, and it's an honor to represent the students, alumni, and faculty of the eight HBCUs in my home district of Alabama. This HBCU week, I'm repping Miles College in Birmingham, Alabama, home to the Golden Bears. As a lifetime member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and the proud daughter of parents who are graduates of the Alabama State University, which is also in my district, I know firsthand the transformative power of being educated at an HBCU. The eight HBCUs in my district are a vital part of our community, our economy, and our children's future. I am committed to ensuring their success now and into the future. This election, I hope that you will have a plan to vote, like your life depends upon it, because it does. I am Congresswoman Lucy McBath. I represent Georgia's 6th Congressional District, and I'm running for re-election. I am a proud Trojan from Virginia State University and a proud soror of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. I know under the Biden-Harris administration, we will restore common sense back to Washington. Hello, my fellow HBCU grads. This is Georgia State Representative Calvin Smiley a proud graduate of D4 Valley State University and a member of Omega Psi fraternity. I have voted. Have you? Make your plans today. Get out and vote. Vote early. Your life depends on it. Let's build America back better. Get out and vote. Vote Biden-Harris. Let's do this, HBCUs.
have your mail-in ballot sitting in the kitchen or in your junk drawer, it's time to fill it out and make sure you follow all of the instructions and drop that in the mailbox today, right now, like right, right now, drop it in the box. And if you are voting early, make a plan to go as early as you can to do so in and make sure you do so safely by wearing a mask and staying socially distanced from others. The next person you're gonna hear from is gonna give you some important information to make sure your vote counts, so pay attention. Pay attention. Hello everyone, my name is Corrine Jean-Pierre and I serve as Senator Kamala Harris's Chief of Staff and Senior Advisor to the Biden-Harris campaign. We are less than two weeks out from the most important election day of our lives. So I encourage you to let your voice be heard by making a plan to vote. This isn't the time to sit on the sidelines and we do not want to wake up after the election and wish that we had done more to make a difference. So join us, join me, go to IWillVote.com to check your voter registration status and find out exactly how, when, and where you can cast your ballot. We have seen record turnout already and we want you to be part of this. Early voting is underway in many states. So when you go to IWillVote.com, again, IWillVote.com, you can also find out where your closest voting location is located. And if you have your ballot already, don't wait, do not wait, fill it out right now and return it today, either in the mailbox or at an official drop-off location. Look, your friends and your family are counting on you to help move this country forward by exercising one of our most sacred rights. So I encourage you to ask five friends, five friends to make a plan and vote too. So we can all work together to mobilize our various communities and vote for truth, decency, and a better future. Thank you. Hey y'all, I'm Casey. I'm Stacy. And I'm Tan. And, and we, we are the Shindellas. And if you were thinking about not voting this year, I'll reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. Okay, so we are so grateful, so honored, so blessed to be a part of HBCU Homecoming Rally, where we're celebrating the excellence, the mm. perseverance, and the beauty of the Black experience. Amen. Yes. And we want y'all to know if you have the privilege of being a student at a historically black college, your vote matters. Oh, yeah. Your vote is your power, and it is time to make our voices heard. Yes, and if we really want to see change in policy that affects folks like us, change in education or health care or criminal justice reform, then we have got to go to the polls and vote in new leadership. Absolutely. So make sure you have a plan in place to vote, y'all. Yes, be like Tam and make a plan. Make a plan. It's so easy. You go to IWillVote.com right now and you can find out when, where, and how to cast your ballot. Yes, and early voting is underway right now in so many states. So let's get out to these polls. You guys stay safe out there. And if you really want to be safe, you can mail in your ballot today. Yes, and if you have a ballot, don't wait, fill that thing out. And like Stace said, you can actually mail it in or you can go to IWillVote.com and find drop-off locations. Do you see how easy this is? The simplicity <laughs> and no pressure, but your family, your friends, they're kind of counting on you to help move the country forward. Mm -hmm. We are counting on you. Yes. The black community, counting on you. Yes. Hey, we can show our HBCU pride. Let's show up to these polls with our school swag on. Yes. Let's show them that we are out voting and we are powerful. Absolutely. So let's go get this W, y'all. Yes. yes. It's up to us. The Shindellas. We out of here. All right, y'all. I need y'all to turn up. Turn your volume up because ASAP Ferg is here. Give it up for ASAP Ferg. Yo, I got one question for you. I don't care if you're white. 
I don't care if you're black. One, two, Wrote this while I was in quarantine. From the hood, I'm used to horror things. Back to the basic, no diamond rings. Just you and God, when I'm drama rings. Streets clear, no siren. Just war going on, just stay clean. No corona, just Heineken. Whatever happened to American dream? Whatever happened to the car? Life in a star, life in a heaven. When it all goes down, that's down the drain. Give it to the most high, he devour pain. Hard for a rapper to say these things, spray these things. Never been a Maybelline. Let my lyrics heal the bed, let me do this finish. T cut! Let the angels sing. Hey, yo, check this out. Your motherfuckers have left us no choice. We have exhausted all options. You've left us with nothing else to do but to fight back by any means motherfucking necessary. As we proceed, Hectic. To give you what you need, Hectic. we are Get Hectic. God's children. Get Hectic. We put waves up in the water. Huh. No one day he gon' call us. Huh. Took my team to Angola. Huh. We got Queen to Angola. Huh. We can't breathe no ventilation. Huh. They are breaks us to our faces. Huh. Some oppression won't say shit. Huh. And my sound in no stations. I'm gon' spaz some of beats and take them shots with some more seats. And we got diamonds in our teeth, but we still a nigga to the police. And why they savage so weak? She can hit the gun and talk about peace. Treat us like a dog on a long leash. Jeez, diamond blinking on my Why we seem to act so Bust down on my rainbow. Cross her heart and get diamond blinking on my Why we seem to act so Bust down on my rainbow. You gotta do what you gotta do to preserve yourself. One of the fundamental things in life is self-preservation. You know, feeling like shit's about get to get hectic. hectic. Get hectic. Get As I hectic. said, y'all left us no choice. You yeah. ready? A little bit more. Turn up. Yeah. Let's go. One, yeah. two, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, I'm on a new level. 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 I'm pumping your new shovel. Don't put these haters in the dirt. Share with the new mother. All my killers put in work. I'm on a new level. 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 I'm bumping your new shovel. Now put these haters in the dirt. Chain with the new metal. All my killers put in work. You still be sleeping on itchy bed. Bad bugs in a motel. Now you take give me. Oh, 20 tickets in my hotel. On a Roman noodle diet. Huh. Tall life wasn't so well. All my killers start riots. Huh. Mars pitting on your tall nails. Uncle T doing so well. First class from my old jail. T first did 15. Then the fans getting no mail. Daddy died, cut the two. Didn't let him out of no cell. Provide job for my whole block. I cannot slow down. Hey, I won't stop now. And you know this is my town. Take the block, make it hot now. 143rd with the drop down. I can change what to watch now. Third ring full of rocks now. Hey, this quit when they watch now. Leveling up to the top. Hey, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Hey, I'm on a new level. I'm probably a new show. Put these haters in the dirt. Chain with the new level. All my killers put in work. I'm on a new level. 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 I'm probably get new show. Put these haters in the dirt. Chain with the new level. All my put in work. Daddy looking down, I know we see me blowing up. My grandma will be so proud. Up in heaven, yeah, beginning. All my brother see me, I'ma make my bro proud. Told his mama, I'ma take her out of work. Know that I'ma hold my bros down. ASAP till the killer die. You didn't know, you know it now. I gotta get in my zone now. 
I gotta get in my zone now. Only a couple of mo now. Mama gon' get that new home now. Teach money, baller, how to be a boss. So none of us ever go broke now. I'ma bring it to the water swim. I gonna bring it a boat now. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. See that? I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm probably a new seven. Put these haters in the dirt. Turn with the new mother. All my kids is putting work. I'm on a new level. 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 I'm probably a new seven. To put these killers in the dirt. Turn with the new mother. All my kids is putting work. Thank you for joining. Text HOMECOMING to 30330 or visit IWillVote.com to make your plan. Get your ballots in the mailbox, drop it off at a drop box, make a plan to vote early or a plan to vote on election day. Check on your friends and family and make sure they vote too. I'm serious, if they messing with you, they need to vote too, period. Also, I want to give a shout out to all the campaign staffers. Thank you for your contributions. I'm telling you, we couldn't do it without you. And thank you to all of the HBCU alumni and students who have been volunteering and activating their communities. That's what you need to do.